Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ExpressJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we learned how to create dynamic data using the post or create, right? That's the CRUD operation we saw in the last video. Today we will continue building CRUD operations in MongoDB using Express. Today we are going to do read. Read is equivalent to get, right? So when we say get, it's equal to like fetch data from a collection, right? Fetch documents from the collection. That's what this means. And we are going to see different ways of how we can fetch data from a particular collection. Welcome friends. This is part 22 of the ExpressJS tutorial for beginners. Please make sure you have seen the other videos in this particular series so that you can learn and master ExpressJS and build apps. Today we are in the episode number 22 and we are learning about how to do read or get data from MongoDB collection. Alrighty, uh, before we get started, my humble request, please do check out the MongoDB uh, playlist that's there in the channel because you will have to learn about MongoDB in order to fully work and master this particular CRUD operation series. Alright, so for our viewers who are joining us new today, CRUD operation stands for create, read, update and delete, right? So creating means creating a new document and document in a collection. Read means reading documents from a collection. Update means updating documents from a collection. Delete is obviously deleting documents from collection. All right, so let's talk about the read operations or the get uh, methods. So there are two um, methods that we'll see today. One is called dot find and one is called dot find by ID, right? So when you say dot find, it will by default return you all the matching documents in a collection, right? Find by ID is like we can find a particular document by its ID, right? Which is underscore ID, which is unique in MongoDB. So these are the two methods using which we can retrieve the data uh, from e from express request, right? So I'm going to show you that uh, combination and we'll also do some querying part of it. All right, so let's get started. Uh, so this is what we saw in the previous episode where we made it dynamic. And let's do it here. Now today we'll do step number 13, which is reading data from collections. Right. So we can do it in three steps. One, read all data from collection. Right. This is again using find method. We can say read some data based on conditions. Right. That is that is where your query comes into picture. And then read a read a particular data, which is find by ID. Right. So for these, we will use the find method, right? And for finding a single particular data, we'll use find by ID. Alrighty, let's get started then. Um, I'll go back to students.js route. And what we will do is, uh, this is a post, right? So I'm just going to copy. That's much easier way, right? Um, and just paste again. And this, the method will be now get because you're going to get the data. And first I'm going to say slash list. So what list will do? It will fetch me all the details from the MongoDB collection. And if you remember, we created a student model here, right? So we created a student model. So let's use that student model here and dot say dot find, right? So see, there are so many options that MongoDB gives you. Find by ID, find by ID and delete, remove, update, find one. Right. So these are all different uh, uh, variations, I would say, right? They're all different flavors of the same find. Uh, that's what it does. So we'll see different ones when we reach to update and delete. Today we are focusing on find, find by ID and find one. All right. So we are saying student model dot find. Now this will be our response that we get. And here we are going to say, uh, just say doc students found students array will be a response right the response that we get should be there right so in order to be predictable about what we are expecting output let's go to our database and let's refresh 
so we have two documents in this particular collection students collection right so when we run this query we are not passing any query which means it should return us two documents as output let's see that so npm run start right so npm run start and let's go to our postman tool and http local host 3000 slash student slash list now enter it is a get method uh, body so now we see that there are two documents it returned us right youtube project and arc tutorials so it is returning a students array which has two um, two documents in it right all right so that was find which will give us all the which will give us all the data from the collection so that's where that's we just got that two documents now we are going to modify this and pass some parameters so the parameter i'm passing is i want wherever the first name is arc i want to find that particular user that's my use case i'm going to try so here we will say slash search by first name right so i'm creating a new uh, endpoint i'm saying search by first name and here i'm going to pass that query so here i will say wherever first name is matching with request dot query because i'm going to pass, pass it as a query param so here i'm saying query dot uh, request dot query dot first name right so or the, there's a better way so what we'll do we'll say const first name is equal to right and i'm going to pass this as the value right it's much much better in formatting oh okay right so we got the we got the oh i think oh we got it wrong sorry my bad okay so i wrote it in wrong place it should be here okay after the find inside the find function the first parameter will be the query the second will be the response object or the error callback so here i'm passing first name as the first name query let's give some meaningful name all right so i'm saying student dot model dot find first name wherever there is first name matching to the query that we are passing and return that response okay all right so let's again start this and say npm run start and we are saying search by first name so let's go to postman and instead of list now we will say search by first name this will be a get operation and in the parameter we have to find first name and i'm saying arc all right so let's send this so now see we got the details which is only matching with arc which is only one record right you pass some other details like youtube it will match the first name it is there but you pass something which is not there so it is empty array because there is no matching record with first name like that right but if you pass something which is matching so you see it is matching so it is getting us one record right uh, there is a better way uh, number documents found or you can say results found and and have it the response dot length so this will give us how many results were found right so let's copy this it's a good idea to pass it always whenever you're returning anything which has the search kind of a functionality so all right so go back here and say search now you should see results found one right but now if i make this slash list now i'm expecting two documents right so it's giving me both documents right so that is how uh, dot find works right so now i'm going to show you find by id so copy this again right so here we are going to say find by id right and simply we have to pass the id okay that we have to use correct so i'm going to copy this here because uh, 
search by id right so that's the one that we are going to define and we are going to say search by id and here we are going to pass id equal to value right so here we will say dot id and query and we'll pass the id query here right so in when you say find by id you don't have to pass the column name just pass the value of that particular string of the id that you underscore id that you're trying to find okay here you don't want to get the length because you know that if it's success there will only be one right all right so let's again run okay so now we have searched by id let's pass it and you get that details of our tutorials right uh, because it's matching so now i'm going to go to database and take this id here and let's pass that here and search now we are seeing the youtube project right so this is how uh, find find by id is done right so that's basically uh, the code that goes behind reading or fetching data so we created find all right if you don't pass any parameter it will find all if you pass param queries it will find the matching documents matching this query we can find more than we can pass more than one query to this and we can pass an id of the document when we know right so this we will use it when we want to update also so that's coming up in the next episode so stay tuned for that in the next episode we will learn about expressjs mongodb crud operation in that we will learn about update or put method if you are enjoying this tutorial series please do hit the like button please do subscribe to my channel please keep coming that those comments and positive encouragement in the comment section Thank you again. See you in the next episode.